Okay. Well, let's see. Let's get started then. We're going to talk about probability. Okay. But before we talk about probability, I have to give you some of the mathematics behind probability. Okay, some definitions. So before I start to do that, we're going to go through an exercise and I'm going to ask you guys this. Has anybody ever went to the grocery store? Okay, you made a grocery list? Have you done that? Who's, who's gone recently? Okay, what'd you buy? Milk. Eggs. Butter. Coffee. Ham. Turkey. You, want, you know I've been doing this for a long time. And everybody's list is always the healthiest list you can ever see. And when I go to the grocery store, you want to know what I see? All the, all the Doritos, all the chorizo, okay, frozen pizza, ice cream cookies. That's all I see. So why is it that whenever I ask this question, everybody gives the healthiest grocery list? I don't know, okay? Well, here's the deal. If you've ever made a list in your life, and we all have, in math, we don't call it a grocery list. We actually have a definition. This is known as a set, okay? So I'm going to define for you the definition of a set, and a set is simply a collection, or you can call it a list, of objects or th just anything. Objects or things. Okay, this is a set in mathematics. Now, here's a fact. In math, we name our sets with capital letters. So the name of a set or a list, a capital letter. And we, we typically use letters that describe the list. So for example, this list could be named capital letter G, okay? Because it stands for grocery list. Are you guys okay with that? Also, in math, when we describe our lists or our sets, we don't do it, what's, is this, this is what, vertically, is that right? We do it horizontally. So that the first item is what? Milk. The second item is eggs. You guys okay with that? And then butter, followed by coffee, ham, vegetables, and turkey. Okay? And we also use these curly brackets. So this is a curly bracket. This opens the bracket, this closes the bracket. So in math, this is how we write all of our lists. So when I go to the grocery store and I make a list, I don't do it this way. I do it how? This way, okay? This is math notation. We gotta be good with this notation, I think, to, to help us with probability, okay? You guys okay with this? Anybody have any questions on that? Okay. Um, since we're on the topic, I want to note something or give you another fact or a definition. Um, the cardinality of a set, and I'll call it a set A. That's the name of the set. Here's the definition, definition of cardinality. That's defined to be, we're using here, functional notation n of a. Okay, this is functional. This doesn't mean n times a. It's n of a. Okay? Meaning, if you give me a set a, 
If you give me set A, I have to give you an answer. I'm defining what this function does. The function simply is this. It's the number of items on set A. Remember, a set is a list. Number of items in the set, sorry. Not on it, but in it. So you want to know what this reminds me of? Has anybody ever been to the supermarket? And what do you notice? There's a sign that says what? I own one. You see an aisle one. What else do you see? Ah, yeah, 10 items or less you can get in the express line, right? Do you ever count people's items? <laughs> I do too. When I look at people's items, I'm busy what? Counting. I'm like, oh, do they have 10? <gasps> and what, what do you think I do when I see 11? So I don't suggest you do this. But I start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11. I don't really do that, but I want to do that, OK? Um, you want to know what this definition is? It's exactly that, meaning if I put set G in here, for example, N of G now, right, is exactly what you're doing there. You're counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Guess what? We have seven items. OK, so n of g is 7. Can we get in that line 10 items or less? Yes. You want to know something? This definition is given, you know, some people look at that and go, oh my god, I don't know what that is. It's simple. Count the number of items on the list. And it's what? 7. OK, you guys OK with this? All right, I'm going to leave some of this up here. I'm going to ask somebody else, who else has gone to the grocery store? Anybody else has gone to the grocery store? Nobody else? You guys don't shop? Who shops for you? Mom shops. Nobody here has gone to the grocery store? Hmm? You, you've gone to the grocery store? OK, what'd you get? Oh. What did he buy? So we get the real list, or? What did he really get? What's your name, by the way? Oh, OK, well, what's your last name? OK. I'm going to do this, OK? I'm going to call it list R or set R. You guys know why I didn't want to use N? We could use N. You know, well, I guess we can use N. I'll call it R. It doesn't matter. List N, remember, don't we use capital letters to sort of conveniently describe the list? I could use G again, but there may be a conflict. We think, oh, two Gs? We'd have to keep track of which G. So I guess we can use N for Noemi's grocery list, OK? So what did he buy? He got beef. Oh, he got beef? He got fish? Um, chicken. Boy, he's into protein, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's a carnivore. Mm-hmm. And let's just say that's all he got. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what would be N of big N? What is this definition again? How many items, what is the number of items on list N, capital N? How many? How did you find that? Count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's six, sorry. Seven, eight, you're right, nine. Okay, you guys okay with that? Is that easy or is that hard? Easy, okay. This is a definition of a set, cardinality of a set.